Let's look at a, uh, creating a uh, table. Go into Oracle. And um, I'm in um, Google here, um, Google Chrome, um, so that I'll hopefully have less problems. I'll click Application Express. And I'll sign in the system and whatever you set your password as. And um, over here on the right side, um, I don't know how to, s how to shrink this back down. But anyway, I'm click uh, click the have a sign on. Go ahead and log in. And um, hands on XE04, and then I whatever username you created, and then password. And then we'll go into. Uh, SQL Workshop and um, then Object Browser and over on the right hand side here you're going to see a Create. If you click Create and then choose Table it'll um, we, we did the object types and that's down to Columns and uh, choose um, let's see uh, it's called Name I'll do this on drop down here and I'll choose bar chart 2 for string. And um we've got precision and um scale. That's size I believe. It'll give us an error if it isn't. Um and then uh, I'll have a quantity and choose that as a number and um, oh five and um, put zero here then I come down here and I'll say um, order Let's see, quantity, price. And choose this uh, drop down here and choose, um, oh, I guess, number again. And I'll put five and then I'll put two for the, for the scale. And um, that's probably. Um, Oh, um, I'll just put, um, do I need a date? Restock date. And I uh, choose date. Now you notice, um, for date it doesn't have any, any kind of, um, precision or scale over here. And, um, Table name, what do I want to put here? Um, I don't know, called sales. And you can click pre preserve case on these to, to preserve the case of it. Click the next button. It says no primary key or populate from a new sequence, uh, existing sequence. The uh, primary key is if um, we had a huge amount of data, it would allow us to very quickly. Um, find something based upon a key um, and uh, how to say no primary key click next foreign key um, mm, yeah that should be fine there so just click next some of these it'll uh it'll tell you if you actually need it. Uh add constraint. Um no, I shouldn't need that. And then it gives you the um the SQL here. So it's kinda nice to if you're learning, um you can see uh if you want to issue this directly, you could have done that instead of going through this. Now click the create button here and you see we have a, a new table. It's called sales down here. So remember, you click uh, click any of these other ones and changes. So 
your sales. If I want to put data in it, I can click uh, data here. Mm. I thought it allowed me to actually enter data here, but I don't see that. We have to do inserts to uh, get our get our data up here. Let's see. Great lookup table, triggers, SQL, indexes. Hmm. I'm surprised data doesn't allow us to, to put in data. But obviously not. I guess you just have to do inserts to put data into it. Um, of course, there might be another SQL workshop here. Let's see. Query Builder, Utilities. Um, Sales, add column, modify column, drop column, data. Oh, there it is, right in front of me. Insert row. I'm blind. Okay. So let me put in a name here, a quantity. Actually, let me do a name of a, a candle or something like that. Um, blueberry. Then I have 20 of those. Price of it will be $1.35. Restock date. Um, 01-01-2014. And if you put in the wrong order, it'll it'll tell you. Now, see here, uh, there's a create button. If I click create, then it'll uh, put it here. Then if I click insert row, and um, raspberry 50 uh, price. 3.31, restock date, uh, 8.30, 2014. Click Create. And then we got our data here. And uh, we could put in a whole bunch of data, but that's uh, actually good enough. So again, I clicked Insert Row to insert the data. And uh, that's how you create a table, and uh, you go ahead and uh, populate it.